Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the reverse flash effect from the CW series. The glowing eyes. So, you're going to want to record your footage at some point with you looking into the camera. It doesn't have to be on a green screen. I just happen to have a green screen behind me. So, go over to the media node. Type in tracker. Click tracker. Select the tracker point and find a good spot on your eye to track. Switch adaptive mode from none to best match. Track forward. Disable tracker one, add in another track, position it over the other eye the same way, and track forward. Click OK, go back, and you really don't need the tracker node plugged in anymore since you already got the data. Plug the media back into the media out. Find a good spot to zoom in and grab a polygon node. Basically is a mask node or the masking tool in After Effects. Then just draw a very rough uh, shape around your eye or a detailed shape. I would recommend you guys do a detailed shape. I only did a rough one just for the tutorial, but for the actual version, I did a very detailed one. Now, as you can tell, I am just kind of refining it. I found out that some of the points weren't sticking very well, so I had to kind of redo it. This is the longest part that you're going to want to do. Just masking it out is way more of a detailed process than anything else. And if that doesn't work, just delete the mask, retry. Get it to a certain shape, adjust it to your liking. When that's done, go over to the polygon node that you're using right now. Scroll along, make sure that it is not connected apparently. Go over to the center node. Go over to the center option, connect to, and then connect to the position of that tracker, which in this case is tracker one. Now you will notice it's gonna go off frame, just highlight it and then put it back. Scrub through the timeline to make sure it's actually attached to the to the tracker point, and then do another polygon node and do the exact same thing. Trace it, fix the points, connect to, and then connect it to that tracker. Highlight it again and move it back into position. Adjust it to your liking. And then scrub along the timeline to make sure it's attached. Highlight both nodes and move them over. Grab a background node right here, or shift tab, type in background, click add, but I'm just going to drag it down. Take the end point of this background node and plug it into the media in one. That's going to create a merge node. Now you're going to notice that it's black because the color is black. It's basically like a solid in After Effects. Take the polygon node and plug it into the background node. That'll give you a black eye. If you're going for a demonic look, feather it out a little bit, put some reflection, and boom, you're done. But we're going for the glowing effect. Scrub along and make sure everything's connected. Press play if you have to. Looks pretty decent. It doesn't have to be perfect because it can be feathered and have effects added onto it later. Go over to the background node and change it from black to white. That's going to give it the glow effect. Soft edge is basically like the feather tool in After Effects. Border width is basically like the expansion. Adjust the soft edge to the video quality. Your settings might be a little different depending on how you record it. Again, always make sure to scrub along and make sure everything's good. There's nothing that's leaking. To make it easier, 
copy the parameters of the soft edge and the border width from one polygon to another. Adjust it to your liking. Zoom out and let's check out a preview. All right. Now for the fun part. Highlight all these nodes right here, push them up, click the background node. And then you're going to want to change that to a reddish color. Reddish oranges if you prefer. Shift tab to open up the select tool, put on a soft glow. Now you're going to get the reverse flash look, which is basically 50% of the work done already. Adjust the gain and threshold to your taste. Blend mode just goes from glow to no glow. Grab another polygon. Put it to the side. Select the merge node. Shift tab, type in color corrector. Adjust that to a reddish orange color. It's going to turn the whole screen that color. Take your polygon node, highlight it, move it over, and then start drawing a rough mask around your eye to simulate the glow effect. Connect the two and adjust. While with the polygon selected, plug it into the color corrector node. And you'll see where we're going with this. Connect the polygon node to the tracker with the center. Reposition it. And then feather it out a bit to give it more of a uh, glow effect. Soft edge for feather, border width for expansion, and hot damn, you are an evil speedster. Do the same thing for the other eye. Take the other polygon node and plug it into the other one. Boom, you got a glowing effect. And it moves with your face. Zoom out and let's check out a preview. Always be sure to save. Control S. As you can tell, you can also change the color of your eyes. And that's about it. If you want a more in-depth look at the blur, it was really just a... I masked around my body and put a blur and then a couple of alliterations and you're done. Add some sound effects and you are the reverse flash. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one. Bye.